All right, so I've been <clears throat> putting more uh, miracles. Um, I arrived in Canada on January the 4th, 1967. On that date, the earth was closest to the sun. The date my mother Dappy Frizz as she was known. <clears throat> Was conceived on. So we go back one frame. Get that away a bit. So I arrived in Canada January the 4th, 1967. On that date, the earth was closest to the sun. The date my mother, Dappy, Frizz as they called her, was conceived on that date in 1911 on uh, December the 4th. But there's more, sir. Yes, there is. The Australian Mercantile Law Book, Ninth Edition, page two fifty five is Customer's check altered. I was charged with adding twenty thousand to a check. Wait a to my wife, Pauline. This is a marvellous thing, you know. Where we're going with this is uh, December the 4th. Okay, you tell me what happened on December the 4th. It was the birth and death date of <coughs> William the First. The line of Scotland and that's uh, Raj and Lena's wedding day that we were invited to in Fiji. Raj and how do you spell her name again? Mina, M I N A. I should know, I got an art, Mina. Hmm. Lovely old girls, you know. Yes, I've been thinking about them. I wonder if they've got to have a baby yet. I thought that today in yourself. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's two thousand and one? Twenty ten. In Nandy. Yeah. 
All right, now. <clears throat> so we've got our wedding, December the 4th, when we went to the wedding of uh, Raj and Mina. He, a former Hindi, and she, a Christian. And she convinced him to become a Christian. Yeah. So we got December 2010, Nandi. Saturday. No, no, it was the other way around. Because Raj had the experience from an 11 year old boy. Remember? Right, you're right. He had, he had, his auntie had told him about Yahweh. That's right, his auntie had. And That's right. his own mother had died when the God they prayed to hadn't been able to help her. That's right. Mm. So, no, it was. This is the young man going to work where two angels are sitting on the bus and give him mm. a pamphlet that he thinks are people, because they look that, like me, old and grey. And me, <laughs> young and grey. <laughs> well, white. All dressed yeah, in white, white sitting yeah. on the bus, giving out pamphlets to be at the lodge where we were mm. to learn the truth about the Bible. That's right. He took it home with him to show Mina. And then it vanished. Mm. That's something you don't lose. Mm. Yeah, they were astonished. He, wanted, he wanted to show us, right? Yeah, and that's that's and then they phoned and so we organised to have lunch on the day that the brochure said that it did prepare us for anything that eventuated in the following days. Of course it did. <laughs> it's when the crowds came. So that is fourth of December. Yes. Very special day. And then we have the fourth of December for William's birth, birth and, and death dates. Death, yes. 72 years old. Yeah. Born in uh, 1143. So he died in 1215. Just in time for the Magna Carta. Mm. Well, yeah, the Magna Carta would have been signed if he died at the end of the year. Well, he was the king, I tell you, he should have seen it. Mm. and contributed to it, and then he died. Mm. So, I find this book falls out of my caravan that I bought from my brother for off circus for $280. Right? Loaded all his junk in it that he had storing up in, because he's a lunatic. Mm. Right? Paying storage fees. Ship it all down to his nephew's farm. And that's where he asked me to go pick up his porta potty to take with him with his new girlfriend at Tasmania. Mm. And I said, right. You'd use it four times a day, two hours at a time, sitting in the back of the fucking van while she's driving. Yuck. Probably won't be successful. <laughs> <laughs> so that happens, eh? <clears throat> so this book falls open, page 255, customer's check altered. Angel says, this is the 4th of December. The angel mm. says to me, do the numbers. The and I said my usual, what? <laughs> do the numbers. The vowels and then the consonants. Right. So I then ring Michelle and the next door neighbour come over because Stephen had been locked up in jail by then. So this guy had come over and I said, I said oh, I'm Stephen's uncle. He, his father wants his... Porta potty and the shitter. So we had a good laugh at that thing. So I showed him the book. I said to him, I've been bloody charged with that because we're all, he knew we we're all criminals, right? Yeah. So I've been charged with that. I bring Michelle, tell him, tell her in front of him yeah. that it was 904. None came out. You can almost be certain if you ask Michelle, she would deny it. Because mm. they all do. Mm. Man, what a story about to tell Paul and the adventures we had. Make a wonderful movie. And at the end, she tries to do me in. Mm. 
a wonderful story. That's why we go down to UFOs, right? Or the CIA guy or FBI guy. Remember with the, with the 38 in his shorts. Nice, likable guy, very intelligent. Sitting there in, in Shoreline Park, waiting for the bloody UFOs to show up, right? Like it's the Gulf of Mexico farting and spontaneous lighting. It's been happening for thousands of years, mm -hmm. according to the Indians. Right. Yeah. So they have a UFO every three days. So it's, a, it's the Gulf of Mexico farting every three days. That could have set off a uh, gas bomb and a half. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the, uh, the story when we're down there. And um, that's where we get to Fife, Alabama, and then we get to to NASA scientists and and uh, mathematicians and so forth, and they blow them out of the water with just a couple of sentences. I'm astounded. Is Jesus supposed to be showing up at Gulf Breeze at 7 and going AWOL? This is a fact, right? Mm. Mm. Amazing. I'm talking to a guy whose son, <laughs> or his daughter, is the girlfriend of the guy who was one of the seven defectors from Belgium mm. because they'd seen that Jesus was coming back on a UFO to Gulf Breeze, Florida. Mm. And I said to him, I did. It wasn't the UFO, it was a fucking Dodge Diplomat with a vinyl riff. <laughs> Fuck, but still didn't get it. Mm. I'm the most raw man alive, right? can't you get it? <sighs> so that's right to put up with, but see, Pauline's a reluctant witness to all that. And if you get a piss, she'll, she'll spill her guts. Mm. Especially if she knows she's going to get, be beheaded if she doesn't. Mm. What's the phone number again? Oh yes, lukewarm. That's her name, Lucas. Mm. When I got arrested, I was arrested because of lukewarm. I will spew you out of my mouth because you're not neither hot nor cold. I will spew you out because you're lukewarm and neither hot nor cold. I will spew thee out of your mouth, my mouth, mm. or your mouth too. That's a lovely cake, isn't it? You like? Mm. Good. Finally got it right. Pretty can't swallow it. <laughs> Wash it down with your tea, babe. <laughs> All things good in it. So this ripping yarn continues. So, Ash asked me this afternoon, have I finished with this one? Well, I did actually nail it on to the end of one I did last night. But uh, since then, we've got to add in uh, this here. This is uh, a registered copy of the bill of lading <laughs> that I landed in Canada. Right. January the 4th, 1967. And the battle had begun. I was first staying at 1117 Craig Road, Alberni. <clears throat> James Kalukan, Frank. These are witnesses uh, along the way. <clears throat> now, the date of the passport is April the 3rd, 1963. Right? Expires April the 3rd, 1968. We've got April 3rd, 33 AD, seen all over the world, but where was the moon best seen from? over my crib. New Zealand is 888 miles high. You've got Marshall Island is the second 
closest to an inhabited island to a little island down here. Take a look at it. So you measure right, from there. Look at this, it's inhabited. Three nine nine three. Poor four four three four. And lie in ambush. A jewel. Perhaps. Maybe. Designed to drive in nuts. Honestly, a twig. Prune to vine. All right. Now this lovely little island. Is that
this uh, coral uh, is at the Marshall Islands is uh, the rarest in the world. So it is the eyes of Easter Island. Mm. Huh? So we're just going to go up there and have a look. Where else I was going? Easter Island. So we're telling the Palestinian children that they've got to go back to their uh, angelic parentage, which is the Shemites. Mothers and fathers were angels. And um, <clears throat> you see the two emerging from the uh, statue with the female figure. So they've got ash, volcanic ash, and what do you want to call me? Like volcanically speaking. Oh, uh, so your ash. <laughs> Fire. Fire. Fire and ash. Or you can be the molten lava. <laughs> Ash fire. That's what we call it. I'm just saving the line to it. Mm -hmm. Right, now that line <clears throat> to the South Pole um, seven one 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 something or other kilometers. Cook 
when he uh, left Tahiti, was given orders to sail south. We plotted where he went, and he's seen the uh, <coughs> comet of 1769. First white men to write it down. It was a whole ship saw him. Seventy-one, one one degrees south. Same number as the length of El Gigante. Seventy-one feet eleven inches. One less than eight hundred sixty-four, which is the width of the sun. So it had to be a number which was one inch less than the width of the sun, which is eight six three. So you got. 863 is what? Eight six three. Eight six three. Near to eight five four and eight five nine. Will it yield up? Nearness. Greek. Among you. Among. Often. So we have the L. Joy Chante. We sort of ask ourselves each day, uh, are we going to keep on doing this? So we decided to buy a piano. So what you got then is the lady's face, the eye is bashed in with the cannon shots. They have cannons sitting around wherever it was convenient. So they could take shots at it. Napoleon did the same thing with the Sphinx. But it doesn't uh, remove the enormous amount of stone that the body and the head is uh, to the right of the uh, fire coming out of the volcano and bring the ash with it. So what they've done here is the breasts, the pregnant stomach is still there, the hands coming around here, uh, the face totally disfigured, the nose gone, and the Buchanan balls bounced up the hill somewhere, which they would retrieve, but now and then they'd lose one. All you do is take a metal detector and find one. So the chin is still evident, it would have been more like that, but because they blasted bits away. So what Cook's uh, uh, job was to uh, come back to this island here using a Harrison clock on the same coordinates proven by uh, Wallace that had been there on uh, December the 4th. Two years before. Three years before. So they're now saying they're not, they didn't use the Harrison clock, but they are admitting they used the clock. Of course, uh, they have to. Because I exposed it. 
But the clock the uh, SATA are using was a model that was made after the uh, dates that Cook was on used to own. Later, uh, on a trip to um, Hawaii, uh, he was murdered by his crew by abandoning him on a uh, sandy shoal, ordering him out the boat, and they rode off. And then the Maoris got him and butchered him. And the next day they gave the body parts back to the crew. So as you see, it's a uh, extraordinary story. So we go here. What this is, is the moment there was a red moon. First it appeared moving, become fully blood over my crib. When I died on the cross. <laughs> Where are you going? It's going to sneeze. <laughs> All right, so we've got this lovely number, April the 3rd. Seen first in Australia over New Zealand, which is 888 miles high, and then Marshall Islands up here, and the other little cute island down here. little promo now this is one of the messages to the Palestinian children it's a uh, cactus and a lovely bunch of trees Looks like it could be fir trees. And then uh, a field of uh, daisies, by the looks like. All in black and white. They choose your children's death. So the children of Palestine, I am coming. I just have to defuse World War Three. You have my blessing. I will not rest until you are in my paradise. So we're looking to the 14th when the sun will go dark. And the blood moon in the Joel prophecy was April the 3rd, 33 AD, which was over. Tavulo which is 888 miles long by 5.55 miles wide. This is a lagoon here. It's a beautiful thing, beautiful. And they get all their, their fish from in here. Oh, in paradise. It's the first inhabited. There's their little area there. It's just town. And uh, there's a little guy down here and another little tiny shack down here. I don't think there's anything else around here. All right, now the distance from here to Marshall Islands, I'll find it, I'll just 
flicker in. Oh yeah, this is uh, my height in uh, Royal Cupid's time and my uh, year of birth gives you the height of the pyramid. And uh, I am 2.992 cubits, Royal Cupid's high, tall. And it is belonging to the Lord Jehovah or Jesus, the Lord. It's in, uh, now we go to Revelation, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, Revelation 1, 1, 1. Here it is, January the 11th. It's mine. So I am, I am Alpha and Omega, and that's why I had it be written in Greek. Because the stars are going to be named in Greek. The first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which in Asia, etc., etc. All right. This is Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 9.42 PM, moon over Jerusalem. It would still have been red. So I uh, copy that. Go get a paint. Paste it in. So what have we got?
right, so what we've got then is El Gigante, which is uh, here, 7111. Crook Reach 7111, South. Sounding back, he sighted the uh, comet. Uh, Miss Air. August 30th, 1769. We have this little outpost here. Now, what's interesting about this? Seventy seven point eight 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 North one seventy one Trata Turin seven one 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 height of giant on Easter Island fire and ash sixty nine is my birthday of course. And Leonard and Jehovah. Here's the rarest coral. So that's what we were doing before. Do it again. the furthest point to Easter Island so we'll save that A. Joker. What, darling? Joker's going to be up soon. He's been saving up all year to replace his old car. And he's done oh, right. Joker? Yeah, yeah, Joker. Oh, I thought you said Joker. No, 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 Joker. Ah, good. When's but he coming? Well, he's uh, just got to do a bit of work on the car. He said he'd give us a week's notice, but he's got a much better Falcon. He said, uh, traded the other one for peanuts. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> 
uh, gave it to the dealer with Yahweh brand and they go like the Marshall stickers still on it. So I've made some more stickers for the new one. It's a Ford Falcon again, but much better. It smells like bread from the previous owner doing food runs. It was a mission and a half to get it, but it's some relief. So I can now get on the road again in a Willie Nelson voice. <laughs> I'll spend this week fixing it up and get used to it. We'll get some of those GPS systems to make things a little easier. Bit by bit getting myself prepared. My health hasn't been the best lately. It might be all the chemtrails over here on the Gold Coast because of the Indy car bonanza. Much like what Joel was filming lately. YouTube messing me around as usual. I'll push through and look forward to catching up in the next week so I'll let you know at least a week before I come up. A few days stay would be great. I will pay my way and help out as much as I can. Lots of love, Chip Chuka. I knew you would. <laughs> So I sent him back a message. Hi, Chuka, glad to hear you've made your goal. We look forward to having you come and stay. We have two rooms you can choose from, in your own bathroom with a spa tub and your own separate toilet. <laughs> We're well taken care of between the four of us, so you all you need to worry about is getting here and you'll be our guest. You can relax and enjoy the life of retired people. <laughs> <laughs> we now have three bikes to ride <laughs> and we'll probably have a piano by the time we get here. Perhaps you'd like to do some painting while you're here, whatever you like. <coughs> so with this marvelous program, we can go all over the place. So I measure everything. Now I, I don't care about uh, the devil, Lucifer. Even if it is 1966 nautical oh, mile. Right, we'll save that again. So you can see it's uh, not allowing me to to stop there. from here to Tahiti and this is going of course to the enlightenment of the children that I promised I would come and save them from all these mad nations around them and I'm bringing home your mother Because you're Canaanite. Now, I, I drove around this island during an eclipse in uh, 1966, November, and um, looked up. You drive around the coast here. And we pulled in and looked up at this gigantic mountain. Huge. And that's one of 7353 three feet high which is the area of the Shroud of Turin. So that is why when we go, let's say we go from there, uh, I've got hundreds of these locations now. Um, 
to go to the Marshall Islands. Memorizable numbers. So I can go now on a, uh, a tour, because we've got this Marshall character here. We can measure that um, line. Northern miles. No. Kilometers. From here. numbers Thought they're changing numbers again. change in numbers. Remember it was 118.22 kilometres to uh, where I was born from Ireland. Yeah. It's now, just a second, 
Remember I said how the 888 numbers had changed? Yes. When it went from where I was born down to yep. Arcord, Eagle, yes. South, North, back again was 888. Now, only two legs. And you take the eagle out, yeah. right, and you got 888. So they shot themselves in the foot. So now they change this to uh, 119.12152. So instead of got um, first go Psalms. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Now, that is Psalms 1, 1, 9, 1, 2. Right. Now, I come back at that, so well, we've got 11, then a 9, 1, 2. It was my body weight when I was born. <laughs> yeah. 11's the date of birth. <laughs> I was 22 inches long, which is 11 twice, <laughs> because there's a 2 in it. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. They're, they're communicating with me by yes, measuring and changing. So that's becoming interesting. Mm. Uh, actual ground in miles. Hold on. Back to ground. 7402. Well, now they're going for my height. There a bit out. And 7403 miles and nautical miles. 6432. So we looked at that. Up. Official messenger. <laughs> So this is the kind of thing that drives me nuts, right? Yeah. I mean, it's direct conversation with the creation itself. Yeah. Which, in fact, you are doing because you are the offspring of the Almighty, which is myself. And uh, as time is in valleys, as we're going across the Milky Way galaxy, as we're going up through these ripples, Mm. puts us in a whole new paradigm when it goes through one of these ripples which tends to turn the Coriolis backwards right so that's what's happening we're hitting the uh, Coriolis because uh, we, we haven't gone back we haven't gone back to where it was at all for a while have we no. we've been testing very often but every time it's all it's remained stable well we see we're at the point and we've come through this last little bit yeah because we're going it's it's a ripple like so mm. and we're coming through at 63.5 degrees my age my grandfather's age i wasn't used when i that's the angle we're going through at yes. at the moment right because we've been pulled over mm. that's why um the sun is setting in places like scotland mm. and it's a good 20 degrees out because he said that's the sunset sets there. Yeah. You got the compass. Yeah. The sun's setting there north. Mm. Northwest or something. So um this latest thing, like let's say how it happened, I didn't give one moment's thought to Michael until you reminded me. But it's also Pauline's birthday. Yes, that's what I thought today as well. I was thinking okay. But I was thinking about Pauline, right? Right. Yeah, and it's also Diamond's birthday. Her phone number is seven twenty five five one three. Mm. I would prefer you be either hot or cold, mm. not lukewarm as such or something like that, or spit you out of my mouth. Mm. That's what got me arrested because I the copper kept asking me how I got the number and I said, well, I just rang directly and she's not listed, he says. I said, hey, well, I'll pick up the phone. 
He's going to spec it till they're going to hit him with it. Three coppers there. Yeah. So a dollar nutmeg. Yeah, Pauline, Marshall, Marshall. Uh, put up any. Yeah. yeah. He does the same. Yeah, British company. Number is seven two. And I give it to the cop. He listens to it. Yeah. Put the phone down. I said, "No, you do it." So he rings up, gets the local directly. Yeah. Sorry, this is an unlisted number. I was doing it again. Get the number, give it back to him. Did this three times, right? I said, "Miracle, right before your eyes." <laughs> what I was doing was dialing international. international. Put this moron hadn't thought of it. Now the heading is uh, 119.8, so we looked that up. Because now it's a messenger, okay. Was it 119.12? Hold on. No, this is 119.8 is, is degrees. Oh. So we want 19.8. I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly. So they're sort of begging forgiveness. See, the likes of Obama, he's already dead. Mm. He was dead two years ago. It's like Ben Laden, right? We finally got him, sir. If I had been in the United States, I'd have got Ben Laden and made him a hero to be able to do that. Oh, yeah. Box or we just kill him first and then we do it and blame him. Mm. I think the latter is correct. Oh, so I just I'm just going through a, a few things that I'm measuring here. Um, that was Eileen of course. So it's, it's showing that they have now increased the um, distances because all this that I've given you is in bitmaps that I had measured with the same tools. And I've been saying that the South is out. So you've got to take a percentage off to get the correct distance and then compare it to um, Magellan Discover Australia or something like that. That's the best one I've come across. All right, so we can measure from there. Okay, and you could pick a location. It's 2160 width of the moon to where I was born to Tuvalu. Tuvalu. It's just big enough to land a plane on. There you go. It's enclosed. Make a great tourist spot. Eight point eight eight miles long. Kilometers long and 5.55 kilometers wide and a thousand nautical miles to Marshall Island which is 77888 like how pat a hand can it be? So I go back
So in the um, Armageddon idea, I've seen these little children um, terrified out of their mind, little Palestinian kids, by these monsters that call themselves Israel, when they're not even Shemite. Because they're Talmudic Jews that reverse everything. So I'm saying their ass is on the line. Now, if the Western world don't do anything about it, I'll take the Western world out too. The judge them wanting, right? Well, the Western world are doing nothing. They right, are well, this video goes up. This is their last warning. Well, uh, uh, tonight, uh, Press TV, the UK, along with the Jewish Congress, are. Uh, Every single public speech upload is uh, trying to invoke Iran phobia in everything that they are just pushing, pushing, pushing. Every time they open their mouths, it's David Cameron, it's 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 all the top politicians in the UK. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Who believe this utter bullshit? They say we will believe Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. I go well, for him well, for advice because yeah. he always tells the truth. Here he is being, at, being asked a question by this lovely lady, Muslim lady, respectfully sitting there with her head covered up, looking beautiful. And she is asking him these questions and he thought for a second and he said, I didn't say that. Yeah. And then she frantically apologised yeah. because this man never lies. He wants to do everything Jesus' way. Mm. And he says, when Jesus gets back, he's going to serve the Mahdi. Well, I will. Mm. He can do it. Because it's him. Mm. He's got to have a broad nose, a broad forehead, and he's got to be related to Muhammad. Big and he's got to have a name like Muhammad. Mahmud. Mahmud is pretty <laughs> close, isn't it? That's <laughs> pretty much on the money. <laughs> and that, of course, gets us into the uh, Cyrus prophecies of Isaiah that finished writing 118 years, or he died, being sawn in half in a tree by Manasseh, the evil king, the old brother of Ephraim, which is Australia and America, right? Mm. Sawn in half inside a tree. Isaiah had predicted that uh, 118 years after his death, Cyrus was born, and he named him and that he would give him the kingdoms of the earth by the mouth of Jah, because he's talking through the prophets. And uh, to rebuild the temple. So, I'm saying these little babies here, remember your mother and your father, honor your mother and your father. Read the Gospels in Arabic. It's beautiful. That's why they didn't write it in Arabic. And I changed it. Greek. It's too beautiful. Yeah. There's, there's a numbers rhythm of Arabic that you have to understand Arabic to understand what the music is with it. It's like hearing some fantastic orchestra for the first time. Mm. When you read it, you hear the music. It's beautiful. Like poetry. Mm. It's what the Quran does too. Okay, so uh, these telling these little children here, don't worry about your parents because they've got the Quran, they make them recite it 12,000 times a day. And Allah hasn't fixed it for you. Right? Mm. You've been massacred. Allah hasn't done it. But I would do it. Because your ancestors are the, the same Shemites that had married the angels, male and female, to produce giants that had these wonderful capacities to build the Great Pyramid and all these wonderful things around the world. That's them. It's them people, that's them. Mm. They're the Shemite. So the Jews have turned it around to be anti Semitic, calling themselves Shemites. Yeah. So, as the Jews are notorious for double speech, you could back them into a corner and say, Is this man God or not? 
They have to lie and say, no, he isn't. You know? They are, when they must lie, you can trap them with one question. If they deny it, they're lying. If they have to lie by their law, otherwise yeah. they're going to get sawn up in little bits. And, and if they confess it, they're right. <laughs> eh? And if they confess it, they are right. That's right. So they won't confess it. <laughs> Rabbis do this blood thing. Even when they circumcise babies, they suck the blood off their penis. Yeah, I was watching. I mean, how sick is that? And I said to the Arabs here, I said, if I wanted you to have no foreskin, I'd have had you born no, but no foreskin. Otherwise, you're like me. Perfect in every way. Not saying anything that's too much of a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> so um, these little children are the descendants of the angels, and like England, the angel landers. That's what I was called, angels, right? Mm. Angel landers. When they went, the blonde-haired, blue-eyed babies going into the lion's dens. Three hundred fifty-seven years I did that. Can you imagine it? There's lions. Mm. Ever seen a lion place? Imagine a little tiny child, a bloody thing as big as a house coming at you. These kids went through all that kind of thing with reincarnating, and now they're back here and they're going to inherit a paradise because I'm saying you have to recognize your mother and your father because that's the Canaanite god had a goddess, mother and father. That's the family unit. That's why they tried to destroy it with just a male phallic symbol. Mm, yeah. right? So it's a mother father figure. You've got to have it. So what Ash is saying, the only way onto the earth is through the womb. So <clears throat> we go back to the original religion before Moses forbade the Israelites to go into Canaan. Then they killed him, right? Just going up to a mountain to die, stoned him on the spot, and then wrote, and then he said, like as he's laying there dying, the Jews, right? Mm. It's a Jew mentality. Because it was the Freemasons that had come up with this idea in the first place out of Egypt, Jew Barlon. That's why they've set Lunation Zero at 12.20. Right? On the 18th of December, 1922. Why? Because the exact distance to the uh, where Jubilon comes from, the god of the underworld which married Joseph, daughter of the high priest, is uh, 621 miles, or I think it's miles, to uh, the city of On, 204. Going for the capstone, right? 204. So it's this wonderful um, um, manoeuvre of a <coughs> compulsive liar that has to lie a bit them to deny me. So the more the churches deny me, the more I win. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Because they are Talmudic Zionist Jews that must lie. Mm. It's all controlled by the Jews. That's why uh, Cornwall told Washington that in 200 years' time you'll be preaching the Jewish Zionist yeah, that's Bible. Right. That's exactly what's happened. So when you got control of the world, you can make things like that happen. But now they've they've lost control of it because now, very likely, Obama is dead. Can we get a, a lead on the Jewish Zionist Nobody actually talks about that, do they? No. Well, look at this current story he's talking about now. They're only two, two and a half months or two months ahead. They've even got the one out on the election. They thank you for the election. He's winning. Yeah, that was asleep. You saw that yesterday, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Can you find that somewhere? Yeah, I, I may have been a loader but I can find it easily. Well, there you go. They've got these... Uh, Monsters who are hiding in caves have already killed all the leaders. I haven't checked Australia. And totally taken over by control of the media and um, pre recorded messages, and they can digitise. Yes, I will, anyhow, whatever you're thinking. So there you go. These uh, little ones here, mm -hmm. uh, can you imagine, I once was driving into um, the other side of Vancouver Island and I just go past the end of the runway and a jet went overhead, landing. 
or taken. The noise mm. was right, deafening, horrifying. Mm. You imagine these things coming down and over these houses here. Oh, yeah. So Harry's already committed suicide in 2008. Yep. Goodbye, Harry. Is he already dead? Well, there's been plenty of attacks over there. Nobody is, uh... well, would they would they announce it if he was killed? Mm -hmm. Anyhow, that's just um, up until today. What we've been doing.